Hey guys, and welcome back to Tales of Legendia in the last part. Um, we got here to this workshop place thing. Did I start the video here? I don't know. Anyway, um, we got down here. So yeah, I was just in this building, and I'm gonna go back in for just a second because we got a recipe to pick up here, and I'd like to get it. Doyoyoing? What's the matter? Why are you all so quiet? You know, you're... Oh, never mind. Sunny, you can't get on her case about that. There are people in this world, like Red, who are, you know, special. <laughs> That's one word for it. Damn straight, Bubbles. I'm special in every way. Red, I mean you're stupid. Oh, you poor thing. Just remember, when life gives you stale bread, make stuffing. Wow. Uh, yeah, you're special, too. What recipe did we get? Oh, red bean bun. Okay. Oh, wait, is that like an Azuki bun? Let me look at that. Or, um, oh, right, I can't. Oh, actually, you know what? There's an oven here. Yeah, it's kind of hidden, but this is an oven. Uh, let me see. Red bean bun. Yep. That's pretty much, I, I think. Let me see. Can I look at the recipe? Uh, no. Okay, I can't look at the, um... I can't look at the uh, the ingredient details, but yeah, I think that's like an azuki bun. And azuki beans are very, uh, they're like sweet beans from Japan, so yeah. Anyway, one of my favorite parts of the game is coming up when we go over here, so I'm excited. There are bones all over the place, but I don't see any that look like crowns. Hey Spot, do something. You're a dog, can't you sniff one out? Geet ain't no dog. Check it out! This is what Poppy meant when he said they look like a crown, right? Norma! Hmm? Behind you! What's with all the serious looks? Come on, guys, I'm not gonna fall for that old one. Is it me, or did something warm and stinky just waft in? Um, is that a grand gate? Yes, come here quickly. This, this isn't my fault, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, hi there. Slowly, slowly. Sandor, and I come seeking sacred heirs. If you judge me worthy, I can get sacred heirs, right? Red! Then it's time to show you what I can do. Take this! Ah! Moses, what are you doing? Oh, it's a test of strength. Bring it on! What are you talking about? Yeah, Moses probably shouldn't be attacking the 30-foot giant dragon thing. Jeez, that thing is way bigger in the friggin' battle screen. Nope. Oh, oh no, I don't have it. I tried to use my, um... Yeah, Shining Gale! <laughs> God, I remember that now. <laughs> friggin' Chloe. Cannon of the Overlord. Ow, 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 ow. What does that even mean? I don't even know what that means. Uh, anyway, uh, this guy's pretty easy. Um, oh, oops, I guess I should have probably um, tried to get the... Let's see, can I do it now? Maybe I can. Uh, no. Okay, I can't make a, a compound heiress in here. But I, even if I did, uh, Dragon Blast is not mastered, so I couldn't make one with the Grand Gate anyway. So, what ifs? If you want, I'm not going to be doing that, so if you want to see, like, all the special compound errors used on everybody, then just look it up on YouTube, you know. So, 
yeah, this is just very leisurely. I'm not doing anything special. Not that there really is anything special about this game. There's no arena or Nebulon or anything like that, which sucks, but oh well. Shining Gale! God, freaking. Sorry, I forgot to go easy on you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, we're done! Yay, was easy. Woo! We won! So was I worthy or what? Come on, give me sacred airs! What's the holdup? Come on! Red. Well, something the matter? Y'all look upset. Look is not the word. Hold on, Chloe. Let's hear his explanation first. Okay. Y'all know I was looking for sacred heirs, right? According to the stories my people tell... We heard all that already, and... Well, I figured if I whooped a grand gate in a test of strength, it would find me worthy. You figured? Come on! I'm begging you! Give me sacred heirs! Without it, I'm... How come y'all are still so strong after that fight? Uh, no! Cut that out! Hey, don't hit me there! Ah! What's going on here? Oh my! It's a mighty one! Mighty one, we humbly apologize for disturbing your rest. Anyway, enough about that. Can we have your horn? Whoa, mood swing again. Can he really ask it like that? For that matter, can they even understand each other? Looks like they're chatting just fine. I shall now convey the words of the Mighty One. He says, No problem, brah. It's like Mondo Heavy always getting in the way. So yeah, just yank it. It'll always grow back pronto anyway. The Mighty One has spoken. I love that. That's so awesome how they just... Oh, God. That's... <sighs> the part of the Grand Gate was played by Keanu Reeves. You have got to be making that up. I wouldn't dream of it. God, that's awesome. <laughs> We've got a fine horn now, so let's return to the workshop. Punching bag man. Yay. All right, uh, let's equip that. I'm going to put that on him just because. Uh, punching bag man. A man becomes a man when he takes the punches without any whining. Uh, it sounded kind of like he was whining a little, but eh, he doesn't need evasion. So yeah, that's one of my favorite parts in the game. Sadly, you never hear any grand, any other Grand Gates talking, so sucks. But <laughs> God, I love that. Greetings, Jay. You never said anything about going underwater. Why didn't you tell us? I told you that you'd need to be willing to risk your lives. But I even emphasized that part. And what was your response, Miss Valens? Well, well. Surely, Chloe, you of all people, a knight would never shirk the responsibility of your own words. Chloe, you don't have to. Coolidge. No. How can I back down after hearing such words? I shall enter the ruins of Frozen Light no matter what it takes. Is it me, or are you getting a little choked up there? Shut up. Ah! Jay and I will work on the upgrade now. How long do you think it will take? One night should suffice. I guess we'll just have to wait. All right. Well, you're all free to do as you please in the meantime. Senel, 
I hereby challenge you to a race in the underground lake. Let's see just what an Alliance Marine is made of. All right? You asked for it. Wouldn't that be a little dangerous? Do you think there's like sharks and stuff? Or some kind of underground lake monster thing? 18 wins, zero losses. Okay, okay, I give up. You beat me good. Wow, Sunny, I guess you really are a Marine, huh? My opinion of you just went up a teeny bit. Be because he can swim? Because he can swim well? Eh? Just a bit? <sighs> I wish I could do that. Uh, I mean, have you always been good at swimming, Coolidge? No. I finally caught up. You're both amazing swimmers. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. I don't think I could ever beat you in a race. Well, you're going to have trouble with the right of Farian if you keep talking like that. The right of Farian? Tell him, Shirley. It's what a man does when he wants a woman to... to, um... to marry him. It's how he proposes. Really? How does it work? The woman dives into the water first, and then the man chases after her. The other way around is fine, too. And then, after that, after that, they... Oh, I can't! Your turn, Stella! They embrace under the water. If the surrounding water glows, it's proof that their marriage will be blessed. It's said that they're sure to find happiness together. Seems like a fitting ritual for the people of the water. It's not just for the fairness, Senel. Are you sure you're going to be okay? No woman in this village would marry a man who couldn't swim as well as she could. Huh? Senel, are you proposing to someone? N no! They've all got pretty high standards. No one's going to show you any mercy. Who is it, Seno? Who are you going to propose to? I said I'm not. Calm down. You're going to drown me. Coolidge, what's wrong? Sorry. I was thinking about something else. Oh, cut the serious man lost in thought act. You're a 17-year-old kid. I don't need to hear that from a 16-year-old brat. Huh. The Popo Mark III is complete. Ours, ours. Thanks to all of you, it's now equipped with a marvelous protective barrier. Yeah, around one spot. Like, we put that thing on there so it would protect the hull, but you're only protecting that one part of the hull. So it doesn't really help. <laughs> Whatever. The rest is up to the skill of the captain. Please let me know when you're ready to go. Ugh, yeah, yeah, I'm ready to go now. Should we get going? Yes, we should. All right, please get in. Yeah, yeah. We're in your hands, Sammy. Got it. Wait, no, he, what? He knows how to drive a submarine? I thought he was just good with boats. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, one last thing. I'll give you some special bonus information. Once you arrive at the ruins of Frozen Light, look for a wall with a star on it. A wall with a star. Understood. 
and we can hear him through the the hall. Is this thing made of like cardboard? <laughs> all right, Sandy, let's get moving. Good luck to you all. Siphon it. The bloodstained thunder must not be woken from its eternal sleep. All that's written here is a warning. There's nothing else. Don't lie to me, girl. It's not a lie. You honestly think you can fool me with that? I said it's not. Fine. It matters not. The real reason I brought you here lies elsewhere. What? You're going to break the seal on that blood-stained thunder. What? I can't do anything like that! Of course you can. You're the Marinus. We'll begin as soon as preparations are complete. Until then, you wait here. for that giant fish. Hey, don't hit that wall right there! Whoa, this ride is so exciting! Sinny, keep it up! It's all right. Stay calm. Deep breaths. This isn't something you should be taking lightly. How many close calls have we had now? what he's doing. It's all right. Stay calm. Deep breaths. I've gotten used to the controls now. We'll be all right, I think. It's all right. Stay calm. Deep breaths. Say, what's this weird chanting I keep hearing? <laughs> the entrance to the cave is up ahead. I love how, um, how Chloe started saying it really fast right there. I thought that was pretty cool. According to Popo, from here on out, it's just a straight line. Did you just hear something? We better hurry. How much farther do we have to go? It looks like we're almost there. Ah, almost there. Hey, Coolidge. Was the floor covered in water when we set out? Am I hearing things, or did something just make a creaking sound? Um, so, in other words... There's a leak in the sub. Oh. A leak? How can you say that so calmly? Do something! Oh. Can't... Breathe, Norma! Can't you go any faster? It's already at full speed. Settle down. There's nothing we can do now but hope for the best. Oh, come on! Hey! See just collapsed! See! Wake up!
Somehow we made it. We're alive. Are we really inside the ruins of Frozen Light? No question about it. The floor, the walls, it's all white. People say that's how the ruins of Frozen Light got their name. Everything is bright white. Sure is made of some weird stuff. It's all smooth. Now our mission truly begins. We must rescue Shirley and think of a way to escape this place. Yeah, we obviously can't go back the way we came. Exactly. Stay on guard. Especially you, Norma. Why is it always me? I just felt like that needed to be said. It's always you because everyone hates you. Well, except me. And whatever. <laughs> it goes Shirley, Norma, and uh, nobody. Anyway, so next time on Tales of Legendia, we'll actually start going through the ruins of Frozen Light. So see you then.